right, time for another draftphysics.com video presentation. All right, just another video update regarding the air track experiments. So I did um, a series of experiments, new ones, uh, with floppier springs. So I will, I guess I could just make a close-up of this, and, and <laughs> you might be able to see them. Um, so there, it's just coiled steel wire with a little plastic piece to make it a smooth surface for them to make contact with. So nothing hits the track. It's all in air. And um, there's a spring on each cart, uh, kind of obviously. And uh, so the little pieces of plastic guarantee they have a good contact. And it's very light, so I didn't really worry too much about changing the weight much and all of that. So I can't guarantee the weights, but I'd say they're within 5% of 1 mass to 2 mass. Now the numbers I got on this particular video were 15 for 2 inches going in and 15 for 1 inch going out. So half the speed again. And you have a very slight speed, you know, repelling. So the numbers don't aren't really perfect. It's a little more than 100 percent, you know, 103 percent or something. But I think that has something to do with the perspective problem, in the sense that the the uh, you know you're looking, the movement is smaller increments as it gets further away from the camera. And so I was thinking that maybe I have to use two cameras or something. So I might try that in the future to just measure the speed of each cart with a separate camera to guarantee a more accurate reading. Um, but you know, I don't really want to go there unless I really have to. So the numbers, are, like I said, from my from my point of view, they're pretty close to um, you know um, telling the story. So I have a copy of this video that I'm playing now. Let me just smallerize it. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm playing the Brozo video in the background. So anyway, it has some, you might have turned the volume off. So I have, it's this little clip. It's just in slow motion where it's just frame by frame. Um, I have a ruler superimposed. It's a pretty good ruler. You know, it lines up with my marks. Um, so that's helpful. And um, uh, yeah, so and then I'll have the raw file of about you know whatever ten or fifteen of these experiments. Now what you can see in the video is the carts do shudder a little bit, and they do tend to move. I mean sometimes you set the cart in a location it just stays there, and then the next time you do it, it's the same place it goes forward, and then the next time it goes back it goes the other way. And so it's not a huge acceleration, but it is movement. And, um, you know, it obviously, if it has a previous momentum, it's going to add energy either way you look at it. If the energy is going towards, it's adding energy. And if the energy is going away, it's adding energy. So any movement in the cart that's supposed to be stationary is technically going to always be energy, momentum in the system. So, um, you know, it, it, uh, so you might find examples where it seems to have more energy than it should, uh, but it's not the uh, two-thirds the velocity number. That certainly isn't happening. And, um, you know, but sometimes there is more than 100% of the one cart's momentum. So there does seem to be more energy than there should be. Like in this case, it seemed very stationary. That's why I use this case. It's very stationary. It's not moving. But in other cases, it does have some movement. So anyway, just pointing that out, it's something I want to work on. So my next step is I want to uh, cut two much better cuts, you know, a much straighter cut pipe, and more precisely one to two in size. And I want to try magnets. I don't know exactly how to align them so the carts won't spin because I guess I sort of have to put one attracting magnet and have the rest repulsing magnets or something to force it to stay aligned, but I'll have to experiment with that. 
so we'll see how that goes. But um, yes, I always intended to use floppier springs. I wasn't just going to do the rubber band thing. But anyway, I'm going to try a couple of different kinds of springs. Um, these seem very um, conservative. Okay, so um, when I was when I bounced them off the end, they bounced off the end very well. Blah blah blah. So they seem very good as springs. So they're very elastic. Okay, maybe the rubber band ends weren't. You know, maybe they're only 60% elastic. These seem much more elastic. So there does seem to be a complete conservation of the energy. Uh, so anyway. For what it's worth blah 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 this is getting better okay <laughs> um so i'll just try to make it better and better and see if we finally get to a point where everybody can conclude that yes there really isn't any evidence of this two-thirds thing happening but we'll see um some people just all right so the the file i have the mov file on the website of all the experiments at regular speed. This is an MKV file or whatever, so I'll put that on the website and leave a link to that. And um, I think I also have the original site uh, as a unlisted, the original video as an unlisted video on YouTube. So I'll provide those links in the comments section and in the description. And I think that covers it. Yeah, my tape measure running along the side was quite useless. <laughs> you know, it just really wasn't that useful. So um, that didn't work. So on top, might be, well, maybe it'll work. I don't know. I have to find some place to put it where it's more relevant, uh, more useful. The overlay is a, really a nice idea, frankly. Uh, so I might have to go with that. I just don't like re-editing the video with, um, you know, putting the overlay into it because it might change the frame rate thing but we'll see anyway till the next time and such so forth and whatnot